11 reasons why you can't lose weight. After prolonged dieting, your metabolism can slow down as your body adapts to low calorie intake, making it harder to you know, lose more weight. However, it's an easy fix. Once per week, pick a day and eat double the calories. So let's say your diet is based on 1500 calories. That one day you go to 3000 and then the very next day you go right back to 1500. What happens is your metabolism has to speed up to burn the 3000 calories. However, the next day you go right back to 1500, but your metabolism is still running as it would burn 3000 calories. And it takes about, you know, three or four days till it slows down again. And then you have a carb loading day again and slow down again, you know, carb loading and slow down again. And that is the best way to fix that issue. Next one is overestimating calorie burn. Don't fully trust your exercise tracker you're using. It can overestimate on how many calories you burn during your workout. And that can lead to unintentional overeating. And that also slows down the weight loss pro progress. Underestimating calorie intake. Many people unknowingly consume more calories than they think they do due to the incorrect portion size or the hidden calories that are, you know, in snacks. As an example, if you add, you know, some ketchup to your food, let's say it's about 50, 60 calories, and you do that every single day, a few times a day, that's an additional, you know, three to 500 calories you consume and it would throw you off in your weight loss progress. The next one is a lack of strength training, which is so common. I see that every single day in the gym. Relying slowly on cardio without incorporating any kind of strength training can lead to muscle loss, slowing down your metabolism and making it much harder to shed the fat. Next one is chronic stress. High stress levels can increase cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that can promote fat storage, particular, you know, around the hips and the belly. And that can also hinder the fat burning process. Next one is one of the most important ones, poor sleep quality. Inadequate sleep disturbs hormones that can regulate hunger, such as ghrelin and leptin. They can increase craving and appetite, particular for shitty, you know, low quality food. Next one is hormonal imbalances. Conditions like hypothyroidism or polystic ovary syndromes, low testosterone can all interfere with weight loss efforts by slowing down your metabolism and promoting fat storage. Next one is overtraining and not enough recovery. Too much exercise without proper recovery can lead to chronic inflammation, stress, and will slow down the metabolism. And especially if you're over 40, you need more recovery to get better results. Next one is also a very common one, dehydration. Not drinking enough water can slow down the digestion, reduces the fat oxidation, and increases the feeling of always being hungry, making it so much harder to lose weight. Next one is sticking to the same diet and the same work routine over time can cause your body to adapt to it by switching it up. The calorie intake, the exercise intensity, and the food choices you make can reignite you know, the fat loss. Last one for today is probably the most common one. As a functional nutritionist, I'm dealing with this week after week. Poor gut health. An unhealthy gut microbiome can hinder digestions, affect nutrient absorptions, and increase inflammation, all of which can make weight loss so much more difficult. A balanced gut promotes better metabolism, better energy balance, and it reduces the cravings. So keep the little bucks in there happy and they'll leave you alone and don't send a signal to the brain that you want some craving, that you have cravings, sugar cravings, and you start eating all that crap. See it as your pets. You have trillions and trillions of pets in your gut. It's like a relationship. Keep them happy and they'll leave you alone. If any questions, leave some in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for more health information. If you have any gut issues or difficulties losing weight, Go to ArizonaNutritionist.com and contact us. We can help you. And trust me, we don't focus on the weight loss. We focus on repairing all the internal engines and weight loss then becomes a walk in the park.